What is up, you geezer, bloke, tight geezers? It is Chris Modder 9 here. Well, that was 10 times better in terms of the result. 10 times better. Um, so, we convincingly beat Newcastle 3 0 at Stamford Bridge in the FA Cup. We're now through to the next round. We've done it at the expense of the likes of Liverpool and Arsenal. <laughs> well, Arsenal were out of it originally anyway. But uh, Liverpool lost against West Brom 3 2 at home. So, yeah. Love seeing uh, Liverpool losing at home in the FA Cup. They did it last season as well. They lost to Wolves. Uh, you know, the, the trend never ends. Uh, and yeah, they're, they're both Birmingham teams. You know, Liverpool, what's going on? You know, Wolves last season at home. Now West Brom at home. You know, I don't know what it is with the uh, with, uh, Midlands teams at, uh, at Anfield. It seems to, be, um, seems to be a trend. Anyway, forget all of that. We're talking about Chelsea-Newcastle. Um... Yeah, uh, I think we started off very slowly in that game. Um, passing was a bit sloppy uh, at times. Um, but I, I tell you something, if if it was uh, a different team, if it was somebody like Man United or Arsenal, we would have been gobbled up. Uh, but we have to think of the positives from this game. Batshuayi being one of them. Batshuayi, absolutely 110% magic performance today. I think he played absolutely well uh, and deserved the two goals as well. At, he was in the right place. He was passing. He was combining with players. He was running into space. He was doing just pretty much what you would expect somebody to do as a striker. Um, so I cannot fault his performance today. Just bang on performance. This is what we need, right? This is what we need. Batshuayi has been sitting on the bench just frustrated as hell because... He hasn't had a chance to get off from the bench and do something for the team. And yet we still have Morata and we still have, we, we're still playing at a false nine in Eden Hazard. And yet Batshuayi is just there just being unused. And he came on, well he was he was in the starting 11 today, but he, he was on and he delivered. And that's exactly what we need in our strikers, deliverance. Um, yeah, so like I said, terrific. Terrific display by uh, Batshuayi today. Caballero as well made some great saves um, uh, for, New uh, for us uh, against Newcastle. I mean, you know, he is a cup keeper at the end of the day. Amazing free kick by um, Marcus Alonso. Just peach. Absolute peach. Uh, he is definitely our free kick taker. There's no doubt about it. Uh, and just, well, overall, it was a, it was a, it was a solid performance today. Um, very solid. I just hope that I this is this is um this is something to smile about definitely do I believe that we can continue this uh I hope we can I mean there's still a lot of toxicity at the club let's not be um hasty about that I would like to see this result as a stepping stone I also forgot to mention as well the um the players that came on, Hudson Odoi and Ethan Ampadu, uh, they both came on for, I believe, Kante and I can't remember who else came off. But yeah, it was it was uh, Hudson Odoi and Ampadu both came on uh, and they performed really well. Actually, the, uh, Hudson Odoi especially was making some really good runs and passing the ball out wide. I thought it was I thought it was very solid on the ball. Uh, same goes with uh, Ampadu as well. I thought he he played a great part when he came on. Uh, very much similar to David Luiz, both in performance and hair. <laughs> um, but uh, the other the other player that uh, really impressed me as well was uh, Christensen as well. Again, solid player. Very very underrated centre back. I mean, yes, he's had some off days. You know, I mean, we all have them. But overall, I think Christensen is a very underrated centre back. Just really solid performance today. Um, but like I said, are we going to maintain this? Are we going to keep this up? Only time will tell, but I look at the, I look at the future fixture list we've got in February and I just think to myself, how are we going to get out of that alive? I mean, we've got Barcelona, then we've got, then we've got the two Manchester clubs back to back, both away. And then we've got Barcelona again. So it's, uh, just, just looking at that alone, just, just frightens me. It really does. It frightens the hell out of me. Um, but yeah, only time will tell to see whether we can actually maintain this run now. I mean, a 3-0 convincing win over Newcastle, you know, it only boosts confidence in the players. 
yeah, it's like I said, we just got to keep this up. And we've got to buy players. We've got to buy. How, how long have we got to go? We've, we've pretty much got less than a week. Less than a week to get players in. And if we can't do that, then... What are we going to do with the players we've got? The only, the only suggestion I would say is just keep playing the youth. Just hope that Hazard can keep going. Just hope Marcus Alonso's legs won't fall off. Um, you know, any of the players, not let alone Marcus Alonso. I just hope they can just keep going. Uh, and yeah, just, just, just stay positive, guys. I mean, I know it's difficult right now, but what can you do in a situation like this, you know? Just Marina just not doing what is she, what she's supposed to do really as a, as a as a oh I don't know what she is I really don't know what she is to be honest uh, somebody that deals with transfers I I highly disagree with that but you know like I said we just got to stay positive and let's carry on with the next game I don't know who we've got uh, we need to find that out one second okay so we've got Bournemouth in the Premier League next then we've got Watford away then we got West Brom at home. Then we have Barcelona, so probably the beginning of the end of Chelsea. No, let's let's hope that's not that. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But yeah, we've got Bournemouth at home uh, on Wednesday. Uh, we've already played Bournemouth at home. Don't forget, we've already played them. And we've already beaten them in the in the League Cup. So hopefully that should uh, uh, continue in terms of uh, beating Bournemouth at home. So yeah, let's be let's be hopeful, guys. Uh, yeah, so I hope to see you then. Um, if I don't, then it'll probably be something of a different topic. Again, I'm talking about Chelsea, I know, but trust me, there will be a video at some point where I'm talking about something different. <laughs> okay? So, yeah. Anyway, until the next time, I shall see you later. Hey, door, and peace.